I'm Ashley from Life Beyond Locks, and today I'm here with Wigs.com to review Style Society by Raquel Welch. It's a really fun, medium density piece, perfect for the upcoming holidays. Let's get into it. All right, so Wigs.com sent me this piece in Shaded Ice Cappuccino, which is a new color for me. I tend to go for the normal cappuccino, but I really, really do like this one. It's 1022 SS, which means that it does have some rooting, and I always recommend rooting for a natural looking piece. The uh, appearance of having roots growing out of your head certainly minimizes the wiggy look and the dimension in this piece is also going to help it to look natural. So this, let's take a look at the inside of the cap, has a wide monofilament parting. That means each of these is individually tied, each fiber for maximum movement and natural looking scalp. You have a lot of flexibility for parting, so you can part this in the middle, as you can see I've already done here. You can part it on the left side or the right side, the choice is yours. It has a flexible cap, which has silicone on the inside and open wefting. It also has adjustment tabs, which I've brought in all the way into the middle. They are Velcro adjusters, which is my preferred kind of adjuster, quick and easy. It also features temple to temple lace, which means that the lace is going to run from here to here. For the most natural looking hairline possible. Let's try her on and see how she looks. So as you can see she is a little bit big on me. I would have to glue this down if I wanted to really have a seamless look or I can just wear the hair down in front of my face and you still won't see the lifting lace. But certainly if you are a small cap you want to be a little bit careful with this style just because she is on the bigger side as I said. Now there are instructions on her not to comb her <laughs> so I'm being a little bold here because I am running the risk of taking out some of her curls which is noted on the card uh, that Raquel Welch puts on her. So they recommend that you only comb through her when she is wet and after adding a solution that is 50% water 50% leave-in conditioner to her, but I am going in and doing it now. So this is a do as I say, not as I do kind of moment. Um, but I'm okay with removing some of the curls because I'm going to be styling her later um, for a variety of holiday looks. And so among those looks is gonna be an updo. So she would be losing some of her curls anyway, and then I'll just put curls back into her afterwards. One thing that I always do is work my own bio hair into the piece. If you don't have any bio hair, obviously you're going to have to skip this step, but it's one of the reasons that I really do love rooted pieces is that I can blend in my bio hair and it makes that transition look all the more natural. I'm also going to go in and make sure that this part is completely separated, which it is. Perfect. And to make sure, and to make sure that she looks as natural as possible, I'm going to add a little bit more powder to that part line. Though I did it previously, I didn't put nearly enough. All right, now that she's fully secure, let's talk about the details of this piece. She is 5.9 ounces, so even though it's a lot of hair, it's not going to feel too overwhelming for you. She has a 13 inch length at the back and 13 inches on the side, 11 in the front. So she does have some nice layers to provide dimension for you in the front. It's a beautiful cut and I think it's kind of universally flattering. I'm going to show you her from all sides. So this is my left side. This is my right side. And here's the back. So as you can see, there is quite a lot of length. Now I am a little bit on the petite side, but even then for um, someone who is taller than I am, you're gonna have a lot of length to play with to be able to do an updo or just leave her down. Um, she is a fair bit of hair, as I said. They say medium density, but I feel like she runs slightly more on the uh, medium to heavy side, but I think that that just makes her all the more fun when it comes to styling options. 
Um, she is heat friendly as well, so you can use curls, uh, you can straighten her more if you want. As long as you're using temperatures between 275 degrees and 300 degrees Fahrenheit, you're good to go. Um, she's beautiful in this color shaded cappuccino. It does have a bit of a cool tone to it, which I personally love because I am ashy in my bio hair naturally. So for me, this one in terms of the color is an absolute win. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you would get this piece. Would you want this color? Would you like to see her in another color? Spoiler, I have her in a brown and I'm going to review it soon. Thank you so much for being here. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I hope you have a wonderful day.